Regardless of the kind of fishing I'm doing, it's always a time of reverence and awe. It's also a time of what I feel is concentrated relaxation. Fishing is quite majestic, yet so simple and joyful. But today I'm also going to learn a little bit about bass fishing on Fort Gibson Lake. Uh, I mean, really this is a great fishery. I mean, it's, uh, you know, one of those things that, uh, uh, you know, I grew up here and so I've seen it go from some of the best fishing to some of the worst fishing and then on the rebound again. So, you know, it's, it's really become a popular lake over the years. It, it definitely is a, a, it's a fun lake and, and I, I enjoy it. Uh, get out there every time I can. And that led me to ask Jason, when is the best time of the year to go bass fishing? I think to each his own on that. I, you know, I, I prefer it when it's hot, days of summer, you know, when it's really tough. As far as fun, uh, I would say the spring and the fall. I was reminded about how important timing is when it comes to fishing, but also it helps to have the right equipment. This lake can be challenging at times for a beginner. Uh, when it's, it's midsummer, late summer, uh, especially the month of September, is some of the toughest times to fish. I would think for someone who's just getting into it, there are a few baits that you'd probably want to go to that, that could maybe build some confidence up. So, uh, you know, there's, there's uh, fast moving baits like rattle traps, spinner baits. Those are all easy, beginner. Uh, there's no technique uh, necessarily. You can reel it. You can just throw it and reel it. And, and, and those are all good for beginners. Uh, another one is the Jingaroo Hardhead and Biffle Bug. And of course, with this being Oklahoma, you still have to pay attention to the weather. So what kind of a day is ideal for bass fishing? This time of year, we're real accustomed to cold fronts. You're looking for those front days, the pre-front and the day of the front is your better days. A day or two days after the front is normally your worst day. So, so here we are, I believe, on our second day after the front. And so we have the conditions we have today, which is high pressure. Yeah, you definitely want to capitalize on prefrontal conditions. And while today may not have been the best ideal conditions, Jason was able to catch one, <laughs> then a second one. There you go. And I was able to catch one. Well, kind of. Oh, well, you got one, don't you? Yeah, you do. Oh! What did I tell you? <laughs> it's called the Lolly Fishing Story Luck. <laughs> And my experience yeah. just then brought up a good point. The biggest mistakes I think people make is fishing too fast. You know, people will want to cast and reel. You know, they just want to throw out there on any given bank and cast and reel. And that and not work the bottom. Not work the bottom or not work the conditions or the time of year uh, in a sense of trying to gain a pattern of, of where the fish may be positioned. And of course today, many people use technology to increase their chances of catching some fish. I feel like when we had this, it was more off of skill. But regardless of one's skill levels, equipment, the number of fish caught, or even technology, any day fishing, in my opinion, is a good, joyful day.